Hi guys, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and in this video, we're going to just have a look at some ways we can share files with examiners and make sure they're secure. So this is not an in-depth tutorial in encryption, but it does show you how to quickly encrypt a file, how to manage access of shared files, and also just ensure that you can restrict the editing and put passwords on documents as well. I hope you find this video useful, and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Blend. It really does help. Thank you. Hi, it's Phil from Academic Services, and in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can share files securely on college systems. So the preferred way of sharing a file is to actually share it rather than attach it to an email. So find your file or folder, right click the file, and then choose share, and you'll see a OneDrive icon at the side. Then what you'll need to do is enter in the email of the person you are sharing that file with, and you can add a message as well. You can change the preferences in terms of who can edit it if you just want view access and you can even block the download of the file just for viewing as well and you can even change this to just people in DN College group as well. So this is how you send the file to somebody such as an external examiner etc. What you can also do is revoke this access and this is why it's more important to do this than attaching files. So go back into the share click it and then you'll be able to choose the people that that file shared with and you can choose the X and what that will do is it will revoke access of that person. So this is a much more effective way. You can also click stop sharing to stop sharing the file completely including shareable links and managing access of everybody. So that's a real easy way of stopping to share the files. You can, if you do need to attach a file for whatever reason, encrypt as well. So here you can see I'm going to attach a file. Now, remember the preferred way is to actually share files because you can revoke the access. But if you do need to encrypt a file for whatever reason, attach the email and then choose encrypt at the top on Outlook. This will then encrypt that file for the receiver and they don't even need to do anything. As well as this, you can password protect files as well by choosing file going into info and then choosing the protect document. From here, there's options that you can choose such as read only and restricting access. But if you click the encrypt with password, you can actually put a password in for that file. And that will mean the user has to enter in a password to open up that file, or you can even set it to enter a password for editing as well. So you can do this, and again, if you go into protect document, there is other options as well, such as restricting the access, restricting editing, making sure that it can only be read only so staff can't edit that file and more. This is a real simple way of managing accessing files. You'll see if I open up that file, it will actually ask for that password because I've entered in a password for opening up, and you will need to remember this to open up files. And then again, you can attach that file and then encrypt it. And that file will then be as secure as you can possibly make it in office.com. I hope this video was useful. 